Hi everybody and welcome back to part number 15 of my decades challenge. Now I haven't recorded this um, since just before the Easter egg challenge ended because I batch recorded ready for going to Italy and all that good stuff. So you guys haven't actually seen until now that I did manage to complete the Easter egg challenge and get the bunnies for the girls and if I pop the walls up you can see I've got all the easter eggs there in the kids room so that is fine. I was playing off camera getting Mr Jabez all situated away because he's all kinds of miserable and as I was doing so Sarah went in to labour so I am going to send her off to the hospital. Um, No Donna click on the right one. Um, Send her off to the hospital have the baby at the hospital because i um i do want to have the birth certificate so we're going to head off and have the baby at the hospital that actually will take care of all his needs because they seem to go up when they get to the hospital so why why are you not going to the hospital darling oh we've had the baby at home oh mamma mia that is not what i wanted and we have another girl will we ever get a boy because we need boys and we're going to need more than one boy because they're going to end up going off to war and things in the next um decade unless they're only teenagers in which case we'll be okay so we need another girl's name um and i am trying to think back to the family tree and i'm trying to think of a name that comes up on a regular basis on the family tree and mary would be a common name on my family tree. I can't believe he didn't make it to the hospital. Mamma mia, that is not what I wanted. Okay, well, Jabez, then you just carry on with what you're doing. She is really needs to pee, right? We'll go and pee now, and then we'll take care of this baby. So use that. Oh, and now we've sent her to the hospital, and she's gone to the hospital even though she's just had the baby. Are you kidding me? The baby can't stay home alone. Oh, mamma mia, this is not working too well. Actually, why have we stopped recording? No, we haven't stopped recording. We're okay. Go home. You can't... Mary has been sent to daycare. Seriously, at two o'clock in the morning. Go home, because everything's just messed up. Go on, go home. I know you need to pay, but... Go on. Head home. Oh, no. We don't need to have the baby there. We already had the baby at home. Mm. And we have ghost nurses and stuff. Come on. Come on. Why are we not back at home? My game is all kinds of messed up right now. Let's switch control to her then. Ah, uh, switch control to Sarah. And we will take care of the baby. Now we're actually getting somewhere. Although I am disappointed that we had the baby at home. Because I did send her to the hospital. But anyway. Okay guys, and we are back at home. And Sarah is taking care of the baby. I am trying to work out what on earth is going on with all these kids being awake. At this time in the morning. Um, Turn that off. Well... They're not exactly tired, but anyway, I'm trying to remember whose bed's whose now. Sleep. And you. Never mind that. Go to bed. Sleep. I'm hoping that I'm putting you all in... No, I'm not putting you all in the right bed. So don't you go to bed there. You go to bed there. That's your room. Okay. That's fine. And then you can go to bed there. And you can go to bed there. Oh, well, that's you taken care of. <laughs> Jabez, I'm not sure where you are, mate, but you need to get your butt home. Bring him here, because he's got all sorts of stuff to take care of. Right. Um. You, my darling, did you manage to pee? You did, right. So, can you please um bounce the baby, cuddle the baby, make a silly face at the baby and then we are going to feed the baby and then you can go to sleep. Jabez, my darling, the only thing that's wrong with you is your energy so then you can go, you can go to sleep. No, that's it. 
you can go to sleep. And I'm glad to see that the game's keeping up with its little self, but anyway. Never mind. Everybody's pretty much taken care of. And she needs to get pregnant again. Because we can't we can't have all girls. We need to have boys. We need to have some boys. We're gonna have a big family. A big, big family. Which was quite common in those days anyway, let's be honest. Right, sweetheart, did you... Are you going to the bathroom now and then you're going to bed? Is that what... Okay, that's really sweet of you, darling, but could you please go to bed? Go on, go to sleep. You want to get to know her and you want to play an instrument. Well, we can't really let you do that, but you can chat to somebody, okay? That's fine. Now, mister... You haven't got any needs at the moment because you're asleep. You want to woo with Jabez, we'll pin you that. You want to level up the painting skill, we'll pin you that. And you want to dance to music. Well, you'll probably be able to do that as well. Right, guys, I am going to get back to you when they wake up in the morning because there's no point in us sitting here through the night. Actually, there was point in us sitting there through the night because I haven't even stopped the recording and little Missy is awake, ready to go to school. Um, let's see. You go. There you go. Yes, you are going to school today. Go and pee, and eat those scrambled eggs because you're not particularly hungry. You're not. Um, your fun could do with going up. So you could probably then read a book. Um until it's time for you to go to school now you need to pee and you need to eat that's easy enough to take care of easy enough to take care of so go and pee and then go and um yep yeah, just have those grab a serving of those and you'll be ready for school did you do your homework yes you did good 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 and you my darling what are you like? You're not actually that bad. Your blood is not that bad at all. Your hunger's not that bad at all. So grab a quick meal of cereal because it's really all you need. Um, and hopefully then you will be ready to go to school when the time comes. While we wait on the parents. Um, he's going to be fairly late waking up, I would think. And so is she. But then she did just have a baby. So she's allowed... Oh, and that sink... Is disgusting. You have got some cleaning to do, my dear. You have. And baby's going to be awake any minute for food or whatever. Yep, yeah, the school bus is coming for you all, I know. Are you nearly done eating? You are. I don't know whether you're going to get to get your fun up. We can have you have some fun at school anyway. It's really not the end of the world. You, your grades are high enough. Um, I believe your grades are high enough. Um skills actually I don't know I can't remember I can't remember but she can read for a little while anyway it's fine would one of you two you're tense why are you tense darling cooped up you want to be outdoors well that's that's easy enough we can take care of that when you finish eating you might not have time before the school bus comes that's a shame what about you? No, just just carry on with what you're doing. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a problem. Sarah can clean up. It is after all, after all, no, after all her job. Although the kids would be helping out. To be fair, they would be helping out. Come along, Kitty Winks. Off you go to school. How are you doing now, darling? Is your fun? Your fun is going up a little bit. Your fun is going up a little bit, so it's not too horrendous. Not too horrendous at all. Yes, head off to school. Ah, you sweetheart. You need to go to school. So stop reading. Go to school. Good girl. And the other one of you off to school as well? Perfect. Perfect. Right. Yes, you're all off to school. Good kiddies. 
<laughs> Good kitty winks. Okay. So, Annie Mariah is off to school as well. Good girl. Your energy is nearly up. Oh. Now that Sephora is on the honor roll, she may well have a sign. In, uh, may as well have a sign in her back that says "kick me." Oh wait, she does. Should she tell the teacher or try and find the culprit on her own? Tell the teacher. Caught with Marcus still on his hands, Sephora's harasser is sent to the principal, and worse, home to his furious mum. Unfortunately, being a tattletale is not exactly a boost to Sephora's reputation. And grade schoolers have long memories. I don't care. Okay, I don't care. He was bullying. Right. Are you stinky, baby? No, you don't seem to be. You don't seem to be. Right, Mrs. Wake up and clean up. Clean up those and clean that because it's disgusting. And does that need a clean? No, it doesn't. Does this need a clean? No, that's okay as well. The stove? No, it doesn't need a clean. What about this sink? Does that need a clean? No, we're good. Okay. Get those done, my darling. And then you can take care of your own hunger. We'll move that there so she can clean that up as well. Clean up. Good girl. And then she needs to take care of her hunger. But I think baby's probably... Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, mister... What's wrong with baby? Does baby stink? Try changing dirty diaper. And rocking and making a silly face and cuddling. And then if baby's hungry, madam can do it in a, in a moment. Your energy's fine anyway. Your hunger's not so great. But you have had a good lie-in. So, you know, you can do that. And then you can open and eat a serving of that. Today's mail's been delivered. Awesome. Probably bills, but we will see. Baby seems hungry. Sarah, what are you doing, darling? Sarah, what? Did I not ask you to do anything? Okay, it's fine. Come here. All the beds are made. The kids have made their own beds. That's good. When he disappears over there, then you can... Um, Feed baby. Yes, I know, darling. You're hungry. You're waiting for boobies. Mummy's coming. Mummy's coming. Good man, Jabez, looking after your son. Your son? No, your daughter. Your daughter. Okay. Don't go running off to get something to eat. You need to come here and feed the baby. Okay. And I need to have a look at what you still need to do. Ten excellent paintings. We haven't even done one excellent one yet, but we can get you on that. We can't. Right. So you can now feed baby. And does baby... Oh, baby now has a dirty diaper as well. So that's fine. We can change dirty diaper in a second. And then, my darling, you need to get something to eat because you're starving. So get something to eat. Yes, and then you can carry on with the cleaning, mop up, and then you can maybe get on with your um, paintings and stuff in between dealing with the little one. Mr. Jabez, how are you doing? How are you doing, sir? Okay, you're doing fine. So when you've finished eating, I would like you to come and weed. No, we want to revive the plant, and we want to weed the plants and we want to um water no is it dead are you kidding me we'll revive it come on mamma mia there we go and revive and then we can water no you're useful okay well We'll water them afterwards. And then I'll look at evolving them. I know they need harvesting, but I would rather take care of the basics and then harvest, if I'm honest. Um, simply because um, watching other YouTubers, they're telling you not to harvest them as soon as they're ready. So um, we will. 
look at that. We will do that. Do it that way. Okay, so Mr. Jabez is headed out. Sarah, my dear, when you've finished that, could you please clean up as well? And then we're probably going to have to try and get pregnant again, I'm afraid. And you do need some fun. I know you do, but we'll have the um, gramophone on later to do some um, whatever you want to call it. Dancing. That's what I want to call it. Dancing. Right, Mr. Jabers, what do you have in your inventory, darling? Because we've got all these fishes. That one's being sold. Well, that's fossilised. That can be sold. Catfish can be sold. I'm just having a look at how much they're worth. Because if they're not worth a huge amount, then they can be used for fertiliser. You know, and then if they are worth a huge amount, then we don't have to use them as fertiliser, do we? So sell those, and those can be used as fertiliser, that can be used as fertiliser, and those actually will use those as fertiliser, and I will sell those ones that are worth more. No, alright. Why don't you want to sell? Thank you. There we go. Um, And, no, you can be used as fertiliser. You can all be sold. If you'll let me sell you. This is the question. Come on. Yes, thank you. No, we want to keep you. Sell you. Sell you. How much are you worth? We'll keep you for fertiliser. You're worth 100. You're worth 10, so you can be sold. You're worth 160. Awesome. You're worth 100. You're worth 100. Okay. Um, We will sell one of the ones worth 100 then. That's just some extra money coming in. How are you doing? How's baby doing, actually? With Baby seems okay. Sarah, my darling, what are you doing? Why are you reading? Right, Annie Rye is, is done with school for the day. A bee's not bad. Okay, well, she can do her homework. Bee's not bad for Dorcas. And she's a top student. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Right, Kitty Winks. Kitty Winkles. Um, that can be sold. That can be sold. We'll extract the fossil. That can be sold. And you can do your homework. Okay, and then you can do your homework. And you can do your homework. Good. That's them taking care of for a little while. You can have your bath and stuff afterwards, missus. Okay, a fossilised egg. That's fine. Sarah, what are you doing? You want to hug? Well, yeah, you can hug, you can hug the kid. And then, can you please go and complete um, an Impressionism, a large one. Keep an eye on little Mr. Man over here. The kids are there anyway, so that's fine. You do your painting. I'm going to whiz through this, actually, because Jabez is still like hard at work on his garden weeding and stuff. Congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thank you for the telegram. We appreciate it now. Oh, we haven't actually got bills today. That's awesome. Um, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm just going to pop off camera a second, guys, and take care of this. And I am back, guys. I just took care of their, um, outfits. Now, she's in a, um athletic wear so that's not going to show up but he's now in his um correct clothing we shall say how are you doing kiddies the baby's asleep i'm going to whiz through these interactions actually because we only have about five minutes left on the um why do we keep having 100 taken off us what on earth is that all about oh he's reviving the plants never mind how are you doing, Mr. Jabers? Did you need the bathroom? Yes, you did. Homework's completed. Good. 
she's completed as well one of them was going stir crazy so we'll sort that in a minute when you've finished having a pee you can come back out and carry on um with your weeding yes you can weeding thank you um kitties now which one of you was it that wasn't happy you're feeling confident from doing your homework right why don't you clean up there and then you can do some of that you're feeling confident you can tell an unbelievable story from being confident one of you stinks you um which one of you is it that loves the outdoors i can't remember but it's fine you can come and dig this up and look for frogs you can't harvest that which is a shame you can dig that up yes you can just bring some extra money in for the parents good kiddies that's what we like to see dig that up I've pretty much memorized these spots by now look for frogs Um, you can't harvest that and then there should be yes dig that one up and dig that one up and then you my darling absolutely stink you tense from stinking and you tense from needing amusement um there we go so come in here and take a bath and then you can come and dance to this because you're gonna need to um you can listen to alternative there you go that takes care of you lot. Little Mister's asleep. Jabez is working in the garden. How are you doing with that painting, Missy? Not too bad. Not too bad. Why did you stop? Did you finish it? Sell to a collector. Good girl. Okay, can you then go on, oh no, you can't pee because she's in there. So that's a collector and come out here and help Jabez by um, starting to water, please. You haven't cooked anything for dinner, but we do have leftovers. And Mr. Man's okay. I mean, Mr. Man, little miss is okay at the minute. I'm so desperate for a boy, I'm convinced in myself it's a boy. So right what are you doing you read a book and now you're getting something to eat i'm not even sure you need anything to eat darling i think you just oh no you do need something to eat you're fine and then you can come and can you dance no okay you can you can just listen to and you can listen to winter holiday even though it's not winter and that can go back in the fridge because there's no point wasting it thank you very much go in the fridge that can go away we're getting very very close to time here um like literally 30 seconds or so left the poor kiddies and the garden is is not looking great at the minute i mean we've got weeds everywhere we've got dry plants everywhere um we've got stuff needing harvested but it's okay we'll we'll get through it you know even if he doesn't get all the weeding done today and we have to do some tomorrow or whatever, it's not the end of the world. So, no problem there. Right, darling, how are you doing? Your fun needs to go up. I thought your fun was going up, in all honesty. You need to eat something. And there's my timer, so I'm going to have to end this episode here. I'm probably going to play off camera for the rest of today and then jump straight back on with the next episode um, and try to get... Actually, do you know what? No. No, no, no. Just one minute. Just one minute. You stop what you're doing there. You stop what you're doing there. Go here and try for a baby with Sarah go we don't know we're not going to know whether we get pregnant or not until like the next episode or whatever but we can try and get pregnant at least is she gonna come on off you go
There we go. Because we, we do need... We need a boy. We're desperate for a boy. We really are. Like, I can't believe we've had four girls already. Okay. Right, I want to end this right here and play off camera for the rest of the day, like I said, and... Um, and then I can jump back on with the next episode so if you're liking this let's play I'm really enjoying playing it I like the history side of it and the fact that things change with the times so I'm really enjoying it and I am looking forward to moving forward onto the wartime one because that is going to be a lot harder um, a lot harder and we've got 15 days until the age is up into an elder so we've got quite a fair time to play um, until he becomes an elder but that's that's okay. That's about fifteen years or so. Um, I may move forward slightly before then, based on the kids' ages and things like that. We can we can think about that. But I just thought it'd be easier with him. She's gonna have longer before she ages up because she's been pregnant, and that does change things. No, wrong one. Thank you. It'd help if I clicked on the right one. So she's got five days until she becomes an adult and she's going to get pregnant again. So it does kind of throw things out of whack. Um, look at your family tree there. It does kind of throw things out of sync with her not aging while she's pregnant. But there's not a lot we can do about that. That's just the way that The Sims 4 is designed. We've got to work with what we've got, which is why I'm going off his age. So don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave your comments, as always, in the comments box down below. I love getting back to you guys. I love your suggestions and trying to incorporate them and all that sort of good stuff. So don't forget to do that. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao for now, guys.